it's really cold and it's really raining. And I'm in Luton at the brand new Luton Dart. This is the new, well, is it a light rail? Is it a cable car? Is it a train? We're gonna find out, but it connects from Luton Airport Parkway Station to the airport in under four minutes. And we're here for a press preview to have a look around. Since Luton Airport Parkway Station opened in 1999, you'd have to use a shuttle bus to take you from the station to the airport terminal. But now there's the new Luton Dart that's here to speedily take you from the station to the airport in under four minutes. And General Manager Lindsay was on hand to show us around. Two bridges connecting um, Luton Airport Parkway either end of their platform. So access to EMR state trains will be from three and four. So this gate line here is where you end up being a national rail customer and you become a dark customer and then these are our dark customer. I'm amused by the way that it's DART, direct air rapid transport, but there's other transport systems uh, all over the world in fact. So like Dublin has the DART, I think Dallas has the DART. But locked in America, hello, if you're one of our American viewers and your local transit system is called DART DART, let me know in the comments. But there's a lower concourse and an upper concourse and I've, I've I've lost the noise. Technically, it's an automated people carrier that's cable hauled. So that's the cable that's bringing the system down. And on the other side, it's propelling it up. There's also this great, um, the Luton Dart has this fantastic little D logo here. You see that? It's a D, which in reverse looks like a G, a G for Jeff. All right, we're getting on. So it's a walk-through carriage. Yeah. How many carriages, Lindsay? Um, so it's a, capacity is 170, with seating for 38. But, but there are separate units, separate carriages, two yeah, or three? Four. Four? four. Okay. And we can add one more, because you'll notice that the platform is longer than the current shuttle, so future-proofing we can add another carriage. Doors are shut, when it moves I'm going to hit start, moving. Now you're saying four minutes, but I'm going to time He's it. Hold the but officially you're saying under four minutes, yes. but you think it might do under three minutes? Um, Actual travelling time is two minutes thirty-nine seconds. <laughs> Tunnel section. Ooh. Tunnel's not lit. It's no. Well, it's not. We are approaching the airport. Uh, we've, we've gone over 239. I've just, I've just been told we're not at full speed today. We're not at full speed. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 It's slightly disconcerting just looking into darkness. But, oh. yeah, no, but well, yeah, I there's plenty of light, light here. It knows where it's going. Yeah, yeah. that's right. There's plenty of and light inside the taxi. Yeah, and obviously yeah, there's this, lights this on This it. is extremely well lit. That's yeah. right. Yeah, okay. yeah. And there and we go. There's lights on there you go. As we, right. approach, as we approach, and that Central was too much. Right. Yeah. Into the, are we, you, are we calling it the terminal? What are we calling it? Central terminal station. Central terminal station. So here we go. I'm taking that as when the doors open. There we go. 3.36. Yes, but it's That's snowing. All right. uh, they've all jumped out. I'm just enjoying a moment. It's really, really bright uh, seating there. Uh, absolutely level boarding, obviously. Loads of space. Extremely spacious. We then had a quick peek at the maintenance area at the airport end of the cable hauled line. So both sides, the cars can come in and will be maintained. And each side and below you is a maintenance vehicle which is of course self-propelled, so if they have to do something in the guideway, they can pump the... We're looking uh, down onto the uh, the maintenance bay, you can see the wheels, the wheels that actually revolve for the cable car. Nice! There was also discussion about the possibility of expansion for the airport and therefore the DART. It's quite a lengthy process to, to get that approved, but if it is, uh, then those works will sort of be going on for the next 10, 15, 20 years. And if that were to happen, then they could extend the, the DART onto the second terminal building, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. So okay. the current system is 2.2 kilometres long, uh, but it could be extended another kilometre or so to directly beneath the second terminal. Glad we're sheltered from the snow and the rain that we're having today. Uh, these, uh, this fencing area will be down, obviously. They're not letting us through, but you can see the airport terminal is just there. Uh, I'm going to go and have a play at the ticket machine and uh, see how much it costs. Yes, unlike other airport transfers, it's not free. There is a charge involved. It's £4.90 for an adult, but half price for children, and it is free for under fives, as well as if you live locally in Luton, you can register on their website, lutondart.com, and travel for free. It seemed to me though like the best option would be if you're making this journey from London is to buy a ticket from St Pancras that is a combined through ticket all the way through to the airport and that one ticket will work the whole way through. So there are two 
trains, are we calling them that? That will run 24 hours a day, every four minutes, at their most frequent, to cover the 2.1 kilometers length of track. And having got here, I turned around and took a trip back. Please hold the handrail. Shuttle is departing. I am holding the handrail. It's another three minutes back to Parkway Station. The reason why it's cable hauled, by the way, is to get up to the 25 meter gradient between the DART station at Parkway up to the level of the airport. This also here is not provisioned for another station stop, but is actually an emergency escape platform in case of breakdown. Bridge is saying that at night, the bridge. We are approaching the station with connections to National Rail Services. Please hold the handrail. Going over the main road, the bridge is a very impressive structure and it's lit up at night, it looks great. Okay, we're curving back in. Another three minutes, I didn't time it this time, back into uh, Luton Parkway Station. We have reached the station. Doors will open on the left hand side. This shuttle terminates here. All alert, please. And it's all controlled from the control room in here. Where are we going in? Lindsay's taking us in. I wonder how many people he's got. There we go. So you've got four main screens, just to explain what they are. One complete screen for each shuttle. And the operator here is got full sight of the interior of the shuttle and then an exterior camera front and reverse. You've got a track map of exactly where the shuttles are on the system and how they're performing. And then the far end is the duty control managers, that's the security of the station, customers and the ground staff. And then just time for a quick look at the new infrastructure at Parkway Station. Uh, come back to the station, it's still raining, that's alright, we're going to chat to Rude one more time and also uh, Tom Moran from uh, GTR Thames Link is here. So the old bridge which has direct access to the building, to the, the lab station building, which has then access on the back and then the Rover Bridge into the Dart Station. And then the new bridge is built there, which is quite wide and big, which gives you direct access to the Dart uh, from all the platforms. Yeah, so if you get on the train at St Pancras, you'll be here at Luton Airport Parkway in um, half an hour, which is fantastic. And when you get here, until now, you have to go around the corner, get on a bus, go up the hill, which isn't the end of the world, but it is inconvenient. Now, you've got uh, step-free access on the fantastic new Dart. You'll be zooming up to the top of the hill to the airport in a few minutes. So yeah, really, really exciting. So at the moment, one in five people are coming to the airport via train. And now we're, what, there's a, we're trying to encourage people to make that figure higher, is that correct? Absolutely. So it is about one in five. And you know, one of the reasons why there aren't more people who choose to get the train to Luton Airport is because it has been a bit inconvenient to get from the station to, uh, to the top of the hill to the airport. So with the Dart now being that really fantastic step-free connection, we're really hoping that that one in five will, will increase massively. And that's really important to the sustainability of the airport and you know the wider economy because every person who gets on a train is someone who hopefully has not got into a car or any other type of a gas guzzling vehicle. So that's it. It's a very impressive large building. Uh, these gates, sort of this fencing, will be down by tomorrow. By the time you see this video, it'll be up and running. The new uh, Luton Dart connecting the Parkway station to the airport is open really quick. Transfer times making it uh, a fantastic way uh, to get to the airport and really great for Luton too. That's it. Press subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.